Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Potential Webcop channel. In this video, I want to show you how to build this wonderful e-commerce website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Anyone can follow this easily. I will show you how to default of this e-commerce first, so you will know what we want to build. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed or new on my channel, Make sure to subscribe so you will not miss my new videos that are related to e-commerce on the future. Okay, let's begin. First of all, we have knockbar here. You can see it clearly in the left side we have a logo, I name it with pretty things. Next, we have a 5 main menu. And when I hover on this menu, you can see that the color will be changed to red. And when I click on this menu, like I click on the product, we will go to the product section. This also happen when I click on another menu. Okay, and in the right side, we have two icons, the research and cart. When I hover on cart, we can see that we have a list of cart here. Next, we have a header. This is a header have the two content that will change in the meantime. Like we have a background in the header, we have a text, and we also have a button here. I will show you later how to create this wonderful header. Below the header, we have the free information that related to guarantee, and each of these have the icons, titles, and description. When I scroll more down, there will be collection section. We can see that collection in the left is bigger than collection in the right. And you can see the text will move a little bit to the top and the shadow will appear around the image. I will show you how to create this different size of collection with animation of the text. Next, we have more interesting section that is product. This part has four buttons that has a function as a filter. Right now, our filter is on all products. That's why all of the product list will show on the below of this button. But when I click on the new arrivals, you can see that our product list just show new arrivals only. And you can see that when I hover on this product list, we can see that image will be a bit shrink and darker. And the button will appear on the bottom of this part. When I scroll more down, there will be other section. I will show you how to add the background, text, and the button like this. Moving on to the next section, we have a new part. This part have an image and when I hover on it, we can see that the text and the button link will show from the bottom to the center of the image. Next, for the newsletter, we have input with the type of email and the button. When I type something that not email and click subscribe, it will notify us that we need to input email correctly. And at the bottom of this e-commerce, have a footer. I divide it into five parts. Left part will be more wide rather than four part on the right side. And one last thing before we start to code, this e-commerce is totally responsive. I show you right now, when I shrink it and change it the dimension to Moto G4, we can see that the content will fit perfectly on the display. And you can see that the logo from the left side 
will move to the center of the nav bar, and the five menu will be disappear and change to the burger menu. When I click on this burger menu, it will show you all of the menus. And it's the same with the function when we have a desktop display. When I click on this product menu, it will scroll to the specific section that is product. Okay, I think this is cool e-commerce, right? So, stay tuned on my next video. I will show you how to code this wonderful e-commerce.